Okay, today we're going to learn a really cool Brazilian groove called the Bossa Nova. So let me play it for you and then we'll break it down. Okay, so you can see it was made up of bass drum, closed hi-hat, and cross stick, which means if you've never played cross stick before, you actually want to turn your stick around so that the butt end of the stick is where the tip normally is. You actually have to place the palm of your hand now uh, near the center of the drum, keep the tip of the stick pressed into the head, and actually strike the uh, rim of the drum, or the hoop of the drum, with uh, the butt of the stick. And you may notice you'll get a different sound if you move the position of the stick so that the tip touches a different part of the head. If I move the tip to the center here, I'll just listen to that sound. That's very meaty and woody sort of sound and get a lot of snare vibration as well. But if I just experiment and move the tip of the stick back, you find I want to get that nice uh, wooden click sound. It almost sounds like two sticks hitting together. There it is. And again, if I move the tip of the stick right to the other end of the hoop, I get that same more clunky uh, wooden sound, but I want that nice clean click. I find it's about one inch away from the uh, hoop, depending on the stick and the size of the stick that you're using. It's a pretty good guide, about one inch between uh, your stick and the hoop. So let's learn about the rhythm itself. Uh, we're in the time signature of 2-2, two -two, which is also called cut common time. Common time, of course, being 4-4, four -four, which we already know from your rock beats. Um, so cut common just means we're only feeling two beats per bar. Still got the same number of notes, same number of uh, eighth notes and quarter notes, um, but the main uh, sort of groove is what's called a two feel. And it is a two bar pattern, so there are actually four beats to this groove. It's a little bit strange. We could squeeze it all into one bar, but um, because there's so much happening between the hi hat and the cross stick and the bass drum, it's nice to see it spread out over two bars so we can see all those eighth notes working together. So, Hi-hat part is very simple. Uh, we're simply playing on all eighth notes over both bars. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... Bass drum part is also very simple. We're taking each group of four eighth notes, so every time there's half a bar, eighth, uh, eight eighth notes filling up one bar, half a bar will be four eighth notes, we're accenting the first and fourth eighth note of every group of four. So, with the count, I'll play it with the hi-hat actually. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Now if you can't quite play that full bass drum pattern with the count, you may want to change your count uh, we'll just cheat a little bit and change your count to 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. So that you can hear yourself playing on the 1 and the 4 only. But we, we want to turn it back to 8th notes. And uh, you'll notice it's a regular um, sort of heartbeat sort of bass drum pattern. And that's what's cool about this groove, the bass drum pattern just sort of keeps going and going. And what you'll be doing is improvising the snare drum cross stick. But let's learn the traditional uh, or the, the standard um, bossa cross stick pattern. Uh, again, with the hi-hat, so we can keep it all locked in nice and tight. Okay, so let me play that nice and slow now with the count. 
so you can hear exactly which eighth note, whether it's on the you know on the one or on the one and etc etc, that uh, the cross stick falls on. And on the sheet music, you want to just look above the uh, the hi hat notes, and I've circled the beats that the accents actually fall on. So you want to keep your eye on that, so, so you know where your which hi hat note your cross stick lines up with. One and two and three and four and 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 one. So you can hear this uh, syncopated pattern is constantly changing from being on the beat on a number and then changing to being on, on an offbeat, on the and. Uh, and that's what's really cool about this groove. The, the uh, cross stick pattern sort of weaves itself through the music and um, doesn't really sound like it's doing anything regular, although it really is a, a very regular pattern. Um, so to put it all together uh, might be a bit too much. So what we'll do is take the hi-hat part away. I'm just going to concentrate on bass drum and cross stick, nice and slow. One and two and three and four and 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 one. It's such a regular, uh, common sort of rhythm, and we all have it in our in our heartbeat, for, for example. Um, that you, your, your feet sort of go on autopilot and you can get that basic groove going and the idea in the end is to improvise your bossa nova part. So with this lesson we're just going to deal with the basic bossa um, but what I'll do, I'll, um, I'll play some, I'll take this video out with a couple of bossa nova variations which we will actually cover in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you on the next one.